welcome back to Pray, Plan, Repeat. I am Chanel. Thank you so much for coming by. So I started, and I mentioned it on my other channel, but I don't remember if I mentioned it here. I'm pretty sure I did. For <laughs> the month of March, I am doing a $50 bi-weekly challenge, at least for the first two weeks, okay? Because it's not easy. So the thing is with this challenge, I did a grocery haul, which um, I'm gonna make sure I insert that footage into here too. Um, before I went grocery shopping, I taken a list of everything I had in my pantry, everything I had in my freezer and my refrigerator, and I list everything down. Then from there, I was trying to think of different meals I can complete and do with only going to the grocery store and buying groceries one time for two weeks for $50. So that was $25 a week for a family of five. Basically that's $5 per person per week. Well, we got through the first week, okay? We got through the first week. Let's see how the second week goes. So everything I'm about to show you, I'm about to show you one clip of where I'm actually doing the first meal. I'm actually preparing and doing the first meal. And the first meal, I, we actually had it for two days. Um, all the other um, meals we had, I didn't want to sit and film all those. Honestly, you know, I have other stuff to do. So I just didn't film it. But I did take pictures of everything except for like the very last clip. We had burritos twice in one night. Well, not in one night, but we had burritos back to back. So it was one day and another day. And then last night's dinner, I actually did not take a picture of it or film it, but there is leftovers. So I will put together um, um, a dish and take it and put the picture in this video towards the end. And we are actually having that for two nights as well. So for next week, okay, next week, which happens to be the boys' spring break. Like, I didn't really think about spring break when I committed to doing this challenge. I kind of forgot all about spring break. <sighs> it's going to be a challenge now because now i got to worry about breakfast, lunch, and dinner for us five. Well, really four because Subby's usually at work. So um, I have to figure that out. I'm pretty sure I can do it with what's in my cabinet and refresh refrigerator and stuff what I got left because like I said this is a challenge <laughs> I've already went grocery shopping already already spent everything so um let's go ahead and jump into the video and we're gonna talk about what's going on in the video okay all right so this is the voiceover part as you can see I'm showing you the chicken and it was actually five point a little over five and a half um, pounds of chicken and um, this package and I did go to Aldi's I did go um, go grocery shopping at Aldi's so I did not film you know the actual you know me grocery shopping so I'm just showing you all the ingredients that I use to season my chicken with yes I use cinnamon in my chicken yes yes I do yes I do no judgment over here okay no judgment so I'm just taking a couple pieces and putting them into my pressure cooker or my Insta, Insta pot, my, I should say. And then I'm gonna season it, and then I'm gonna add the other chicken on top. And that chicken is actually what I'm gonna be using for the entire week. Now, this is just my meal plan that I put together. So, um, it's just a lot easier if I cook all the chicken at one time and season it all at one time. And any dishes like tacos or burritos, I can add extra seasoning to it um, when I warm it up. And, you know, just do it like that. So. I'm just, you know, preparing my chicken for the week. And I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but I do have a whole nother family pack of chicken like that in my freezer. As you guys will see with the grocery haul video, I will be inserting, or it has already been put into this video already. Or might be, I don't know, girl. Girl, I don't know. I don't know, but I know it's coming out. And I'm just going to set my pressure cooker to about between 15 and 20 minutes. I believe I did 17. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. And the chicken came out perfectly, perfectly okay because I actually let it sit once it was done. I'm just showing you the rest of the first recipe. Chicken cheddar fajitas. fajitas. <laughs> so this is from HelloFresh. This is when we were receiving HelloFresh. So I'm just going to recreate this. Yeah, my camera almost fell, y'all. I'm going to recreate this cheesy fajita chicken um, for um, dinner for two nights. So as you can see, I just bought this small bag of bell peppers from Aldi's. Like I said, the haul video should be up already. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, cut down these bell peppers. Now the recipe called for the really big ones, but you know, when you're on a budget, you, you want certain things to still be the same, you go for what you know. Why spend that much on two bell peppers when you can get a whole bag of little mini ones and it will last you a lot longer, especially if you throw it in the freezer. All right, okay. So now we're going to move on to the onion. Now let's put, now I'm gonna be honest with y'all. My kids really don't like veggies, but if they want ice cream or any anything sweet or any kind of snack after dinner, trust, they gonna eat them veggies without any problems. And I always catch them saying, ooh, this is good. And I'm like, Sometimes you just have to bribe them the first time and then you don't bribe them again at all. So as you can see, I finished that entire onion and put it in another container bowl with the lid on it. Now I'm just, you know, drying off my jalapeno. So the last time we had the di this dish, hubby didn't want the jalapenos. So I only bought one. Well, y'all gonna see, hubby was eating that jalapeno this time. Oh, you're not gonna see him eating it, but he had it on his uh, fajitas. Now, the one thing you're not gonna see, you're not gonna see shown in here, I did um, zest a little bit of the lime onto the jalapenos. That's why the, my zester or grater is right there. I just didn't show that part. So I'm just squeezing two of the limes two of the lime wedges into the jalapenos, kind of, kind of doing a pickling, a real quick pickling, and I'm just trying to get all, as much of the juice as possible into the jalapenos, and I'm gonna mix it up, stir it up, put a lid on it, and pop it in the fridge. Now I'm gonna take this, this sour cream, okay? Mind you, I'm working with what I had, and I'm gonna squeeze sour cream into this container. Now I'm gonna take the other two lime wedges, and I'm gonna squeeze the juice into the uh, sour cream. I'm also gonna add a little bit of water just to loosen it up a little more. And then I'm gonna add salt and pepper. And that is what I'm gonna use to put on top of the tacos. Not only for me and hubby, because the boys do not like sour cream. Now we're on to the veggies. I'm just I'm showing you that I had already put in the vegetable oil because I forgot to film that portion. So I put vegetable oil into my skillet here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, veggies. So my onions and my bell peppers, we're just gonna toss them in there. Cause we're gonna like saute them, but kind of soften them at the same time. So it's not really saute. Cause it's not really gonna, there's gonna be a crunch, but it's gonna be, oh girl, it's gonna be so good. You have to try this, even if it's just for tacos, okay? Tacos and barritos. So as you can see, I'm going in there and I'm getting, um, showing you guys two different ways to add the seasoning. I usually buy the big one right here and this small one. So the big one I get from Costco, the other one I just got picked up at Aldi's. But since we're doing all these $50, you know, thingy, we're going to go with the Aldi's brand. So it doesn't really matter what kind of taco seasoning you use. That's just the taco seasoning I picked up right now okay so i went and got me a measuring spoon i'm gonna use one the big one i think it's one tablespoon it's a really big measuring thingy i believe it's one tablespoon yep one tablespoon so that is what i'm gonna use exactly one of those mind you i am recreating this dish okay so i'm going with the flow here not really this is like the second time i'm doing this okay <laughs> So, and I'm just using that one tablespoon, putting it in there, I'm adding my pepper, of course. And my salt. Now this salt, you can actually pick up at all these too. I think it's like 49 cents or something for that big old thing of salt. The pepper too. So, um, 
I'm just going in, I'm mixing everything together, softening it down, getting all that taco seasoning all over them, onions and bell peppers. You know, it's kind of going to be like caramelized, like candy, like candy. I don't know, why am I saying candy? I don't know. Anyways, let's move on. Now, as you can see, I have my big metal bowl here. I got my hand mixer. I got the little mixy thingies inside the bowl. I'm just showing you what the chicken looks like after about 10 minutes of rest after it went off. That's my chicken, girl. That's my chicken. So I'm just going to pop these little suckers up in. Suckers <laughs> up into my hand mixer and then I'm gonna plug it in and then I'm just gonna start pulling out the chicken slowly a couple pieces at a time and then we're gonna blend it up or shred it up I should say I do not hand shred that is too long I started using my blender almost what six seven years ago and I have been doing it since with the same exact um, hand mixer now as you can see I'm getting my first container out and that's just for dinner for tonight I have two um of the cooked chicken breast in here skinless boneless chicken breast so i'm just shredding it all up and yes it is still hot and i'm just going to shred it all up then i'm gonna put it in that bowl now i don't remember if i showed you guys what i do with the chicken afterwards but i ended up adding another one tablespoon of the taco seasoning directly to the chicken and a little bit of the juice from the pressure cooker that's inside the pot and to the chicken as well um for dinner so as you can see i have actually went ahead and fast forward this part cut some parts out this is all the chicken i have finished all of it i'm actually going to end up letting this this chicken cool down completely and um like a pan and um so that way i can freeze it so that way all the chicken is just not sitting in my refrigerator just sitting there and going bad so I'm actually, you know, of course, making sure I get every little piece of chicken. Now I'm going back into this pot here, as you can see, and I am getting all the juice out so that way I can make sure the chicken stays juicy. But yeah, I'm going to end up, I have, I'm going to end up having the chicken cool down completely before I put it in the freezer. I am going to put one bag of it into the refrigerator, but the rest of it's going in the freezer for the week. Oh, so I did keep this part in. Okay, so I'm showing you guys how I did the um, the chicken. So now we're moving on to the portion where you put the whole tacos and everything together. So I'm just showing you the flour tortillas that I am using. And my oldest son, he wanted to help. So he's putting the cheese on all the tortillas. And then we're going to throw the whole pan into the oven, probably for about like two to three minutes on 350 just enough so that the shells are a little softer and a little just a little bit of a little like um, crunch to it and so the cheese melts basically and in between all this you guys I went ahead and I made um, a pan of fries I did not show that but I picked up the bag of fries from Aldi's and I think the bag was like a dollar or something or two bucks for that the bag of steak fries so now I'm just showing you what the, what the kids' plate look like. They also got salad. And then this is mine's and hubby's with the sour cream and the jalapenos. There's one shell left over and I'm showing you what the, the onion and stuff looked like afterwards. It was just so good. This is another night, okay? So night three, which was Tuesday, the boys wanted noodles and hot dogs. So that I, that I'm showing you everything I used to make their noodles and hot dogs. I meal prepped me and hubby some fish that we had in the refrigerator that I needed to cook. I'm just showing you the different items I added with the fish. Now here's my burrito. I forgot to take a picture of <laughs> the whole thing. Now the little cup of guacamole, you can find that at Aldi's. And I'm just showing you that we end up having burritos for two nights in a row. All right, you guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed everything I showed you. I just realized I did not add a clip as I'm editing the video right now, or this video. Um, I realized, hold on, let me close the door. I realized I did not add my grocery haul into this video. So I'm actually going to upload this video on Monday. So that would be, for me, that would be tomorrow. So that's when this video is gonna go up and I'm gonna go ahead and upload my grocery haul video um, today, which is Sunday. It's also um, what spring forward, I believe today is. So uh, I'm gonna upload that video today and I'm gonna upload this video on Monday and then I'll do my plan with me and, and all the other stuff. 
If you're not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing. Make sure your bell is turned on so you can always notify, you know, you can always get notified every time I have a new video. And if you are interested in me doing more of these videos where I am budgeting or grocery shopping and meal prepping on a budget, let me know, okay, and I'll do more of them. So this was actually a real challenge trying to feed five people for basically $25 a month with basically the leftovers of what I had in my freezer. Okay, that's basically what it was, leftovers. So I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I can't wait to see what spring break week, which happens to be this week, um, what it all entails and how I'm gonna feed basically faux people with what's left. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure I can have, you know, it'll work. You know, the boy, I might got to make a ton of pancakes. That's all right. Boys love pancakes and I got syrup. So, you know, they're set on that for these breakfast. And I got my oatmeal. So I think breakfast is pretty much taken care of. Honestly, lunch might be taken care of too because they can just have peanut butter and jelly for like the entire week. I know. Normally during the week, I only eat like twice, breakfast and dinner. So I'm fine. I'm cool. It's just them because they eat a lot. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I really did enjoy doing this, that, and um, figuring out how I was going to plan dinners. So that's basically what I did all week was dinners. Um, I know I didn't show every single um, dinner I made. Honestly, when you got three kids and they got homework and then you're launching a business at the same time and trying to relaunch another business, you know, it is kind of hard to remember to do all that kind of stuff, okay? So, <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, I will leave a, my website to the business I just launched um, a couple days ago down below in the description um, box if you're interested. Um, and my sticker shop, well right now, because of my printer and the fact that my printer got messed up, I now have to repurchase a printer. So I'm happy I at least have my designs and my stickers together. I can't print anything, I can't cut anything until I replace my printer. So right now it's kind of like, since I'm really not buying a lot of stuff in the month of March because of me and hubby also, which I didn't mention that, we're also challenging ourselves not to spend excess amount of money. And because the printer does work, it does work. We can use it for like our normal stuff, but it's not giving me the color that I really need for my stickers. It's kind of washing my stickers out and I don't like that. So I'm trying to wait it out. Um, so I'm trying to see if I can also like kind of take the other printer from the dining room area, see if I can utilize that one. But the other thing is that ink runs out. That, that carries a lot, a less ink than the printer I currently have in my office. So um, my sticker shop might have to be pushed back because I was planning on opening it the day of spring when spring started. So I might have to push that back a little longer until I can get me a printer replacement. So. There's that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm super excited that I got to do this challenge with you guys. And honestly, just this first week, it has got me really thinking about all the stuff that I haven't been eating and utilizing that's in my pantry. But you know, the kids are on spring break for a whole entire week. And they already had this weekend off. So they got, what, another seven days to be in the house. Hopefully outside. We might go to the playground. Might go to the park walk the trail, I don't know, do something because I can't keep them in the house with me the entire time. So, there's that. <laughs> but yeah, so now with all me talking, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little um, uh, challenge that I'm still undergoing. I will upload um, starting today, which is Sunday. What's, what's today's day? Okay, today is March 8th, okay? So from March 8th, the dinner planned for tonight, which happens to be... Um, country ribs um i am going to do my best to film that um, as soon as i do this video and have it um, already edited so i can go ahead and edit my grocery haul video <laughs> on my grocery video and have that uploaded today since i'm switching them out but yeah so there we go that's all i want to talk to you guys today 
about yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video because i enjoyed the first week of it we'll see how the next week goes and if you guys enjoyed this video um at least let me know down below in the comment section if i can should i if i should continue for the rest of the month now i will let you know for the rest of the month because i'm basically cleaning out of doing spring cleaning a little earlier i am going to have to do a little bit more than 50 dollars for two weeks that's just how it's gonna have to work because I'm basically gonna be working with nada, not nothing, okay? So, all right, <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.